Auckland, New Zealand, the city of sales. Hello, travel friends. Today we're going to explore Auckland, the largest city in New Zealand. People often call Auckland the city of sales because there are so many boats in its harbors. Let's discover why Auckland is such a special place. Getting there and around. Most visitors arrive in Auckland by plane. The main airport is Auckland Airport. It's about 21 kilometers south of the city center. From the airport, you can take a bus, shuttle, or taxi to get to your hotel. Moving around Auckland is quite easy. Here are the main ways to get around. Buses. Auckland has a good bus network. The link buses are easy for tourists to use. Trains. Trains connect the city center with some suburbs. Ferries. Ferries are a great way to see the harbor and visit nearby islands. Taxis and Uber. These are available but more expensive than public transport. Walking and cycling. Many areas in Auckland are nice for walking or cycling. Remember, Auckland is spread out over a large area. It's a good idea to plan your trips before you go out. Famous sights to see. Auckland has many great places to visit. Here are some you shouldn't miss. Sky Tower. This is the tallest building in New Zealand. You can go to the top for amazing views of the city. Brave visitors can even do a sky jump from the tower. Auckland Domain. This is the oldest park in Auckland. Beautiful gardens and the Auckland War Memorial Museum. Viaduct Harbor. This area has many restaurants and bars. It's a great place to see fancy boats. Auckland Zoo. Here you can see many animals, including native New Zealand species like kiwi birds. Waiheke Island. This beautiful island is just a short ferry ride from Auckland. It's famous for its beaches and wineries. One Tree Hill. This is a volcanic cone with great views of the city. It's an important place for Maori people, the native people of New Zealand. Auckland Art Gallery. This gallery has the largest collection of national and international art in New Zealand. Kelly Tarleton's Sea Life Aquarium. You can see penguins, sharks, and many other sea creatures here. Nature and Outdoor Activities. Auckland is known for its beautiful nature. Here are some outdoor activities you can enjoy. Beaches. Auckland has many beautiful beaches. Some popular ones are Mission Bay, Piha, and Muriwai. Rangitoto Island. This is a volcanic island near Auckland. You can hike to the top for great views. Cornwall Park. This large park is great for picnics and walking. You might see sheep grazing here. West Coast Beaches. The West Coast beaches like Piha and Kurakare are famous for their black sand and big waves. Waitakere Ranges. These mountains are close to Auckland and have many hiking trails. Sailing Auckland is called the City of Sails for a reason. You can take a sailing trip on the harbor. Culture and Museums. Auckland has a mix of Maori and European culture. Here are some places to learn more. Auckland War Memorial Museum. This museum has many Maori artifacts and tells the history of New Zealand. New Zealand Maritime Museum. Learn about New Zealand's connection to the sea at this museum. Howick Historical Village. This is like stepping back in time to see how early European settlers lived. Stardom Observatory. Learn about stars and planets at this planetarium. Auckland Arts Festival. If you visit in March, you might catch this big arts festival. Food and drink. New Zealand food is delicious. Here are some things you should try in Auckland. Fish and chips. This is a popular takeaway food. Try it at the beach. Hangi. This is a traditional Maori way of cooking food in the ground. You can try it at some cultural experiences. Lamb. New Zealand is famous for its lamb. Try it in a restaurant. Pavlova. This is a popular dessert made from meringue and fruit. Hokey Pokey Ice Cream. This is vanilla ice cream with small pieces of honeycomb toffee. New Zealand Wine. New Zealand makes great wine. Try some from nearby regions like Waiheke Island. Flat White. This is a popular coffee drink that was invented in New Zealand. Weather and what to wear. Auckland has a mild climate. Here's what you can expect. Summer, December to February. It's warm, usually around 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. Winter, June to August. It's cool, usually around 10 to 15 degrees Celsius. It can be rainy. Spring and autumn, the weather is mild and changeable. Bring clothes you can layer. Even in summer, it's good to have a light jacket. 
In winter, bring a warm coat and rain jacket. Don't forget comfortable walking shoes. Tips for visiting Auckland. Here are some helpful tips for your trip. Language. People speak English in New Zealand, but you might hear some Maori words too. Kia ora is a common greeting. Driving. In New Zealand, people drive on the left side of the road. Sun protection. The sun in New Zealand is very strong. Always wear sunscreen, even on cloudy days. Tipping. Tipping is not expected in New Zealand, but it's appreciated for good service. Biosecurity. New Zealand has strict rules about bringing food and plants into the country. Always declare any food items. Earthquakes. New Zealand sometimes has earthquakes. Know what to do if one happens. Maori culture. Show respect for Maori culture. Ask before taking photos at cultural sites. Special things about Auckland. Auckland has some unique features that make it special. Volcanoes. Auckland is built on a volcanic field. There are 48 volcanic cones in the city. Two harbors. Auckland sits between two harbors, the White Mata and the Manukau. Diverse population. Auckland is very multicultural. You'll see people and food from many different cultures. Green City. Despite being the largest city in New Zealand, Auckland has lots of parks and green spaces. Island getaways. There are many beautiful islands just a short boat ride from the city. Rugby. New Zealanders love rugby. If you can, watch a game at Eden Park Stadium. Best time to visit. You can visit Auckland any time of the year, but here are some things to consider. Summer December to February is the busiest time. The weather is good for beaches and outdoor activities. Winter, June to August is quieter and cheaper, but it can be rainy. Spring, September to November, and autumn, March to May, have nice weather and fewer tourists. Remember that New Zealand is in the Southern Hemisphere, so the seasons are opposite to those in Europe and North America. Auckland is a wonderful city that offers something for everyone. It's a place where you can climb a volcano in the morning, relax on a beach in the afternoon, and enjoy world-class dining in the evening. The city is modern and bustling, but nature is never far away. You can be shopping in the city center, and just 30 minutes later, you could be walking in a rainforest or watching waves crash on a black sand beach. Auckland is also a great starting point for exploring the rest of New Zealand. From here, you can easily travel to other famous places like Hobbiton, where they filmed The Lord of the Rings, Rotorua with its geothermal wonders, or the beautiful Bay of Islands. When you visit Auckland, take time to enjoy the relaxed Kiwi New Zealand lifestyle. Have a coffee at a seaside cafe, walk in one of the many parks, or take a ferry to a nearby island. Don't rush. Take time to enjoy the beautiful views and friendly people. I hope this guide helps you plan your trip to Auckland. Remember to bring your camera, wear sunscreen, and be ready for all kinds of weather. Auckland might be far from many places in the world, but it's worth the trip. You'll find beautiful nature, interesting culture, and friendly people. Have a wonderful time in the city of sales.